long time ago, when this building, the little building, was a hotel, William and Elizabeth Bordy were guests on the twelfth floor, the highest floor. One evening, while their parents were out, they played their favorite game, hide and seek. Little did they know, they would be seeking death. Elizabeth, who was the better hider of the two, hid in the elevator. The perfect spot to die. Six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. Ready or not, here I come. I found you. Years later, William found himself attending his first semester at Emerson College. So, have you heard about Shaft Girl? Who? Shaft Girl. I mean, apparently the LB used to be a hotel, and this little girl fell down the elevator shaft, and now she haunts the LB. Are you serious? Was she murdered? I think so. It's not true! It wasn't before long that the strapping young Bill was courting a girl by the name of Marion Crane. Where do you live again? The 12th floor. Oh, that's where Shaft Girl was killed, right? Liar! Well, good night. <laughs> Marion's death was devastating. But Bill could not have anticipated that every girl he showed the slightest interest in would meet his sister at the bottom of the shaft. Wanna go out sometime? I'd like that. So, do you want to study sometime? I don't think that's such a good idea. So, do you know what time it is? The bodies were buried in a cemetery across the street from the little building. It wasn't before long that the authorities and Emerson students alike noticed a connection between all the fallen victims and one man. Do you want to play hide and seek? Isn't that for little kids? Come on, it'll be fun. Bill, you need to stop killing freshmen. I haven't killed anyone. Then who has? It's my sister. deemed William Borey to be a gross liability and decided to lock him up in a vault next to the little building where he could no longer murder innocent freshmen. They built a theater on top of that vault and never spoke of it again. Meanwhile, as Bill Borey lost his very mind inside that vault, the haunting ceased. The little building was now free of Lizzie Borey's curse. <laughs>